This is our story. This is our story. Our journey. Jatan. We're shooting the, uh, the bonfire scene, and bonfire sounds cool, looks cool, until you're the one that had to stand in front of the bonfire performing five, six, seven times, and you got a mad director <laughs> named Rage yelling at you, you gotta get closer, you gotta get closer. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm not getting closer to that. So we're moving up, we're inching up. This is a, a fire, it's a thousand degrees, you know what I'm saying? Dale just keeps saying, get closer, get closer. And we got so close. I remember my hand was on fire. It felt like it was melting. You know, I guess he didn't realize that we're in fire and we're feeling this heat. Jamie was playing the guitar and I think the guitar <laughs> went like uh, way out of tune. Not just a little out of tune, way out of tune as he's playing the song over and over again. So we're shooting a bonfire scene and uh, one, of, one of the ideas was to get a nice aerial you know, we had this cool drone helicopter to catch a nice shot from from the sky while we're singing. Bad idea. There's one thing that you should know. A helicopter and a fire don't mix because all that wind blowing into the fire is blowing all the ashes and the coals and the smoke onto us while we're playing. We were getting ashes all on us. I, I pretty much ran. Didn't turn out as good as we wanted it to, obviously, and that was on the cutting room floor. And another thing about shooting a music video is there's a lot of shots that you might get that you have to do over and over again that don't even make it into the video. One cool shot was uh, they shot us a few times walking into the barn. I remember the first time we opened the door, there was birds flying out. We're really just opening up this barn door and walking in. And it was a little bit of acting we had to do. You know what I mean? Some acting. Oh, and some Oscars. <laughs> and I remember I made a joke saying, uh, we're gonna win some Oscars and it don't, even end, it don't even end up in the video. You know what I mean? So I guess we're not that great actors. We spent a whole day filming at this farm. A guy named Dan, he owned this farm right in Woodward, PA. Um, he had this real long beard. He went into uh, one of his sheds and pulled out this old farmer outfit, overalls and the hat. He had this sickle and a straw hat um, with, uh, he had no shoes on either. And he had a lot of animals, pigs, goats, chickens, and um, bulls. And one of the camera guys was obsessed with trying to get a close up shot of this young bull. And everyone was telling him like, stay away from that bull. But he just kept getting closer and closer. And that bull was about to take him out. Don't mess with no bulls. The experience was cool because it took me out of my comfort zone. I had to go to the bathroom really bad one time. I, I then realized that he didn't have plumbing. So he was like, you gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta go to the outhouse. He smirked at me too because he knew that, you know, we were city boys. I, I got to use the outhouse. Um, it was a cool experience, putting the sawdust into the toilet. And uh, I'm not gonna go through everything I did, but you know, it was cool. And I remember going into the outhouse and thinking like, man, this is gonna be nasty, but it was one of the cleanest bathrooms I've ever been in. One of the things that was funny about this farm was seeing how he took care of these animals. He just fed them whatever their leftovers were. So, you know, it's just another way to keep from having too much waste. So if they ate, you know, chicken, they're eating chicken. I'm like, what? Chicken? You're feeding the chickens chicken? Yeah. Which was kind of funny because it was like, I'm thinking about cannibalism, you know, like, didn't Mark Zuckerberg get in trouble for that? That was a little weird for us. Everywhere we went in Woodward, all the people were amazingly nice. They were, you know, very kind to us wanted nothing but to help us. They didn't get paid for anything. So it was just good to 
have that kind of sense of community in there and, and open arms um, when we don't get that where we're from. One of the scenes that really just came out of nowhere was the barn scene that ended up being one of the main performance scenes throughout the video. And that all came together just on a whim. We were trying to figure out what the next shot was gonna be. And Dave Meddy made a call to uh, a couple of his friends, Dave and Christine, they were really cool people. So one of their friends was this nice lady named Caroline. Caroline was a, a nice lady. She lit our bonfire. She let us use her barn. It was perfect for the performance shot. And she had this really cool looking barn. They had all of this old farming gear in it that really made some nice scenery for the video. And she was all up for it. She jumped right on it and she was out there early in the morning and, and cleaned the whole barn out by herself. So it was nice to have her, you know, there. And it was a blessing for us to stumble upon her. So we're shooting at Woodward, PA. It's in the middle of nowhere. And I know this, but I ask anyway while we're while the guys are driving us back to our hotel. I ask, Yo, where is there? Is there anywhere to eat? And he was like, 15 minutes, there's a gas station. Who wants to eat at a gas station? And I remember I said something like, uh, you don't have no Applebee's or nothing? And they were like, well, that's a 45 minute drive. Just past this How far farm? you guys gotta drive to get something to eat, man? For me, I wouldn't want to live out there because I don't think I could deal with that. 